Welcome to our first webinar or lab day um, in our lab here in Germany. And today we would like to show to you how to use the FastDG Pro. So here we are in Germany and we are recording live from our lab. And first things first, so we will first take out the gel as you would in the lab and start the software. So I will now start it right away. You should be seeing the software in a second. OK, so here we have the software just launched. And what you can see already is that the camera has been recognized. And we are seeing now a live image. And what you can see as well is that the camera itself is on manual mode. OK, so let's take out the gel from the MuPit. Here we have a large MuPit gel. And just place it at the central area. And as you can see now, the gel is actually larger than the viewing area. So we're going to reduce a little bit the zoom. And now we have the whole gel in the image. And of course, the gel is not in focus yet. So we are going to use the mouse wheel, right? The mouse wheel, and we're just going to point the mouse wheel in the viewing area and rotate the mouse wheel until we get a very sharp image. And as soon you can increase or decrease the steps by which the camera will focus, I will go to one to go really into detail. And if you like, you can even zoom by cropping the image. And yes, this is sharp enough. So let's close the door and turn on the Transilluminator. And of course, this image now, <laughs> this image now is already um, very, very nice. But let's say you would start with a very dark image. And to increase or decrease the brightness of the picture, the only thing you have to do is, again, using the mouse wheel, you're just going to go to the exposure time field and turn the mouse wheel up or down, right? And by that, you will see immediately an effect on the brightness of the gel. Cool. Now, once you have the gel, you can even say, OK, I want to have it in black and white. I want to invert it, or I want to rotate it vertically. For, for example, you put the gel in the wrong orientation, or you prefer to have the small bands on the top part and the um, large bands on the bottom part. OK, so I want to have a traditional gel, and I want to have not only one image, but I want to take three images, one after the other. And so I'm going to activate the exposure range. And I want to say that the difference between the picture should have the maximum value of five stops. OK, and then I'll press. Record image and now we already heard that the camera did one click. So the first image was recorded and we now just have to wait until we hear the second click after a certain time. And last but not least, the third click and after the third click we will see three images with different exposure times. It's very important to mention that the only difference is the exposure time in seconds, not the um, um, not any other value. OK, so here we have now the three different exposure times and actually I would say I prefer the darker image. So I'll go and select the darker image, press choose and save the image on my normal hard drive that I'm used to from um, Windows. So here I'll type in webinar 
Fast DG Pro, and I'll save the image. And the image now is being shown to you. Um, we can do the same again without the exposure range. So here we have now the live view, and I'll increase a bit the sensitivity. Oh, that's much too much. So let's go back. Okay, and I just want to record it once. So press OK. And again, I want to call it Webinar FastDG Pro. And I'm going to call it FastDG Pro 2. So after the image is recorded, the software itself will open it if you like. And here we can have a view at the quality that is able to be detected with it. Let me just share my screen so that you can see it actually. Here you go. Here you can see the, the sharp bands that can be recorded with the Fast DG Pro. So the user interface is very, very simple. If we go back, I'll just share the whole screen. Okay, so now we have here, see, we can all see my whole screen, right? And here you can see that um, the gel itself is well illuminated. We see, uh, let's focus just on the dilution curve. You can see here, this, by the way, is a Midori Green Extra Gel. And here you can see that different concentrations of our DNA marker will lead to different um, intensity of bands, a linear correlation between signal intensity and amount of DNA. Okay, so let's say this time we want to have a brighter picture. We can easily go up to, let's say, second and a half, and that's not a problem whatsoever for the camera, 1.3 seconds, and ISO is fine as well. Or we can even say, okay, I'm gonna close a little bit the aperture, I'm gonna increase to two seconds, and I'll take the image of the gel. And this is, I'm going to call this webinar three. Okay, so now the system is recording the image and opening it up afterwards. And as you can see here, you get very, very crisp pictures, right? So all in all, the FastDG Pro was designed to be very easy to use. Um, if you want to, for example, excise gels, sorry, excise bands of the gels, the only thing you have to do is you can open this very large door here and you can go straight into it and cut everything out. Remember, we are dealing here with a blue-green LED um, system, so there's no danger whatsoever of getting any kind of sunburns uh, of your wrist or damages to your eyes. Um, additionally, the FastDG Pro comes with this umber filter so that you can look through the filter to see the bands. If you look directly onto the gel, you can only see the gel itself, right? But if you add the filter in front, the filter will remove the light and only let the light from the signal go through um, the, the filter and so that you can see the bands. Additionally, if you want, um, with the next webinar, we can have a look at um, protein gels as well, using the white transilluminator, which is also integrated in the FastDG Pro. So thank you very much for your attention, and I hope you liked our first small, quick webinar about our newest and best gel documentation system, the FastDG Pro from Nippon Genetics.